Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about some changes that are happening inside Windows 11. For those of you who watched the video in which I talked about the latest changes for the Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 26002, the latest build for the Canary Channel, well, Microsoft in that build is starting to take action in removing the existing code that runs the old Windows 10 taskbar inside Windows. What this means basically means that third-party apps that were able to change the taskbar or enable the old Windows and taskbar won't be able to do that anymore because Microsoft is killing that off and maybe they will do that also for the start menu who knows also for other parts that are being customized with third-party apps we will know for sure maybe in the next few builds but in this video I'm just gonna show you what happens with the new IDs that Microsoft is enabling and what you can expect if you're running the later scanner channel builds and of course these changes may ship to the main release in a few months so if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we're gonna set up Vive Tool to enable the hidden ID that Microsoft is starting to enable inside the latest Canary Channel build. We're gonna have Vive Tool in the article below in the video description. Just make sure to get the latest version .zip. After you download Vive Tool, just make sure to extract it, and I'm gonna extract it into a separate folder that I've created in the local disk C partition, which is called Hidden Features. You can do the same, but you're gonna have to navigate to this location whenever you are running the command. So you can just copy this location from here, click on extract in my case i'm going to have to replace the files in the destination and everything should be good to go now we're going to use a third-party tool for example we're going to use explorer patcher explorer patcher is a tool that lets you customize the taskbar in other parts of windows 11 i've downloaded it and i opened it here and on taskbar and taskbar style we're going to select windows 10 and then we're going to restart file explorer so we're going to have the old look of the taskbar as you can see this is the old taskbar from windows 10 the code which is still running in the background until now in windows 11 which is pretty interesting in my opinion now let's open up the CMD as administrator. So just search CMD on the search box, click on run as administrator and on your account control, of course, click on yes. Here inside the CMD, first of all, we're going to have to navigate to that location where we extracted Vive tool. So just type in CD and then the location enter and then type in the following command Vive tool slash enable slash ID 42537950. This command and ID was discovered by Phantom Ocean 3 on Twitter. So a huge shout out to him. Go ahead and follow him if you want to learn more about hidden features like these. And if we press enter, we're going to receive the message successfully set feature configuration. The command, if you want to try it out, will be in the article below, so you can just copy and paste it from there. Now, after we've enabled this ID, you can just go into the task manager and search for Explorer and just restart it. And you're going to notice that even with Explorer Patcher installed, the software won't have access to the old code, to the old taskbar look. And even though we have here Windows 10 taskbar style enabled, it will be just as Windows 11. We're going to restart File Explorer from the task manager. And you're going to notice that when you restart File Explorer, it won't start up again because of course it is bugged at the moment so we're just going to click on run new task and task manager type in there cmd select create this task with administrative privi privileges click on ok and then from here just type in explorer enter and explorer will run and as you can see it is running the new taskbar from windows 11 and we're also receiving a message from explorer patcher which says unfortunately file explorer is crashing so we can dismiss this so as you can see even though we have this selected as windows 10 we're still getting the new windows 11 taskbar and this is what Microsoft is doing. They're basically changing this so third-party apps won't be able to have access to the old Windows 10 code and therefore enable the old taskbar from Windows 10. Maybe they'll do this also for the start menu and other parts. We don't know. But I think this is quite interesting. It's a thing that you need to know because things are changing inside Windows 11. Hopefully Microsoft won't kill off any customization from third-party apps. But in my opinion, if this code was running in the background, maybe it was using resources or something like that. It's good if Microsoft decides to kill it off and use the resources for something else related to the new Windows 11 taskbar. As I've said, I wish that Microsoft would implement some new features related to the taskbar, basically move the taskbar wherever you want or other things that will let us customize the taskbar even more because I think this is what most users want. So as a quick recap of this video, Microsoft is starting to kill off the code that runs the Windows 10 taskbar in the background in Windows 11 and apps like Explorer Patcher won't be able to enable the old taskbar style in Windows 11 if you have the latest ID enabled, which is Vive Tool and 42537950. More info will be in the article below alongside with Vive Tool and also the command that was used in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.